What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Ryan the Professional back again with another video. Alright, so if I come off as if I'm in a rush, I kind of am. I want this video to end as quickly as possible. So, <clears throat> excuse me if I come off as such. But let me shout out a few people and then we'll get right into the topic of the t uh, today. Shout out to Sick Humor TV. Uh, if you guys missed one of his uh, streams, it was actually uh, I was actually in it. We had a nice little talk about a few things regarding the Gran Turismo situation, and uh, it was actually pretty good of a conversation. And uh, I think a lot of you guys asked for us to do more of that, so uh, we'll see down the line if he's. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's down for it, but uh, we'll see. You know the schedule and everything happens, but I appreciate that. It was definitely a good talk, and I, uh, you know, what I'm saying enough of respect for my homie there. You know, what I'm saying he was looking out and wanted to talk, so. Good, you know, good conversation with him. A uh, shout out to Carlos and shout out to Lincoln Clay. Shout out to you guys. Um, and of course, you who's watching this video, I appreciate you guys and your time, as well as those who voiced their opinions on uh, my uh, my last video. So I appreciate y'all. Let's go ahead and get into this video, though. I know I'm saying appreciate too much, but I really do. You know, that's how I feel. So <clears throat> this is involved in PlayStation. Sony has shipped 82.2 million PS4 units as of June 31st and has increased their expectations for the fiscal year. The company has shipped a total of 3.2 million PS4 units during the first fiscal quarter of this year. And, um, okay, so let's go down here. Let's check it out. During the quarter, a total of 3.2 million PS4 units have been shipped around the world, which brings the total number of shipments of the console to 82.2 million units as of June 31st. While the console continues selling well, there has been a decrease in shipments year on year by about 100,000 units. But this is understandable given that the console came out five years ago. Higher sales of software for the PS4 have contributed to increased revenue and operating income for Sony, according to them. Furthermore, the company has increased their predicted or for, their, uh, for their predictions of total sales for the PS4. Three months ago, they had predicted that the console would ship 16 million units through the fiscal year, but now they have predicted that the console will ship 17 million units by the end of the fiscal year. This will bring the total number of PS4 shipments to 96 million units by March 31st, 2019. That is a uh, insane margin right there. Now, when you add that in there, you know, by itself, um, and you add in a, a quote from, um, uh, what's his name? Fucking Sean Layton. When you add in that quote for Sean Layton that he said regarding Spider-Man, Sean Layton came out and said that he expected that Spider-Man alone would push the PlayStation 4 into the 100 million units sold range. Now, with them being on the market for just five years, if they can really touch 100 million units in five years, that is absolutely insane. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much a monopoly, like, in total on this gen. And that is, uh, that's an insane accomplishment for them. Now, Sony has always been good when it came to the software of their consoles. They've always been good with that. It's just one screw up they made with the PS3 that just led them down a road they really should not have been last generation. And it really led them down a road where they didn't need to be, especially during the times where it was. As you remember, you know, last generation, they were losing a lot of money on TV, smartphones, their tablets and whatnot weren't selling. I mean, the Walkmans weren't selling. They were just losing operating income left and right. And they were just going, you know, downhill. And when you added on the, uh, you know, the failure at the start of the PS3's, uh, you know, life cycle with the amount of just people just upset, of course, you know, that was just going to lead to a lot of people come out and say, you know, X amount of things about the console. Uh, a lot of people predicted that Sony was going to go out of business, you know, record time, and that didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? It was always those particular people you see in these little board meeting type of, like, interviews, right? They would sit there, they had their suits on, saying, oh, yeah, I predict they'll be gone in two weeks. Some people say that you give them a year, and what happened? These dudes disappeared, all because one man, Caster Rye, had a legit business strategy to fix Sony, and what do you know? He fixed it in record time. All he did was get rid of the stuff that did not sell. He restructured it into everything that was profitable, and there you go. You have a thriving company. Everything's doing a lot better. They're officially out of the red. So Sony has definitely come a long way. And shout out to Caster Rye, especially Andrew House and Jack Trenton. 
these particular guys right here have been with Sony for God knows how long. They've been there through the bad times and the good times. And now that, you know, the PS4 has reached, you know, where it has been and they have pretty much redeemed themselves from the PlayStation 3, they have pretty, pretty much, uh, you know, hung up the boots. It's time for them to retire. You know what I'm saying? They'd rather let the company go, um, you know, to the future. But they, I guess you could say they'll be there for support, right? But they have definitely been there for Sony and Sony has definitely, you know, come a long way due to their um, efforts you know what i'm saying so it's good to see that they have done everything right this generation so congratulations to them on this milestone and many more to come but continuing when it comes to their profit if you look at their profit for or i'm sorry in terms of revenue but if you look at their profits and whatnot from april through june through that period sony made 17.55 billion in revenue last year so i'm sorry this year so that is uh <laughs> that's crazy yeah you know i'm saying that is that's absolutely crazy sony has done phenomenal so hey what can, what can you say man what can you say sony's on point so congratulations to them again well worth it well worth it the amount of games they have provided consumers and the amount of heavy hitters that we're still waiting on like ghost Tsushima and the last was part two days gone the list goes on. There's a lot more games we got to look forward to on the PlayStation ecosystem. You know, hey, you can't help but just feel uh, happy for them. So, congratulations to them. And other good news, though. Nintendo also has some great news for their Switch owners. Nintendo has sold 20 million Switch uh, consoles to date. But if you want to be more specific, it's actually 19.67 million sold. But really, it's roughly 20 million sold so far in terms of Nintendo Switches. Uh, the Nintendo Switch, again, is another, you know, Cinderella story coming from the Nintendo Wii U. The Nintendo Wii U was basically the Switch only. The Switch is has a more um, better way of accomplishing X amount of things. You know what I'm saying? The Wii U, uh, I would say the Wii U had potential. Unfortunately, it just wasn't done right. You know, that's what I can, that's I can say for the Wii U. There was a lot of mistakes that were made with the Wii U in terms of third-party support and in terms of just overall joy of play. Now, they did, you know, come out the Pro Controller, but the Pro Controller still wasn't really the fix of what the true problem was with the Wii U. There was a lot of also, you know, hardware choices that they made with the Wii U that just really was not the smart move for Nintendo. So Nintendo has, you know, redeemed themselves uh, effectively with this. But you know what's kind of sad about this? Nintendo has been out on the market, you know, hasn't been on the market that long with the Nintendo Switch. So for them to come out, you know, this early and say they're at 20 million, right? We still haven't gotten no numbers from Microsoft. Now, I would think Microsoft would at least reveal some kind of numbers right now, you know, at, especially at this current time when Nintendo has come out, you know, with no shame or no, you know, like no fear and say, yeah, we're at 20 million. You would think Microsoft will at least shut down the rumors that they're at 34, 35, 36 million units sold. Remember, that was the, that was the, the, um, the information supposedly that we got from a dev that was working close with uh, Microsoft, you know what I'm saying? Saying that, that they were that close, something like that. And it's like, there was opportunities, you know, they had so many opportunities to do this. And this was the perfect time to, to, to shut that rumor down. And they would have came out and said, hey guys, you know, we're at least like 44, 45 million. I mean, hey, at least you gave us numbers. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be a big loss. At least you gave us something. But... I mean, I guess they're going to just damage control and say, oh, well, we have X amount of hours played on the game and X amount of achievements have been, you know, gotten on the game and vice versa. I don't, I guess we're not going to get those numbers at all. So, you know, I don't know how to respond to that. Now, what will be interesting is uh, next generation because obviously, you know, as soon as next gen starts, that will be the first argument you'll see people go with is sales. So I, you already know sales will definitely be thrown around by Microsoft with the new hardware. But, I mean, still, even right now, I mean, what what possibly could they lose? You know what I'm saying? What do they have to lose? They could definitely just release the numbers now. It's fine, you know? It's not like anybody's going to think anything less of the X or the the One S. It's, it's fine, you know? It, it's no problem with it. But they're not going to release those numbers, so... Yeah, I guess we're all going to sit here 
uh, baffled, I, I guess, <laughs> at what's going to truly um, happen in the future. But, hey, I'm all game for it. Um, that's pretty much it, though. I got nothing else to say. I mean, that's uh, that's it. Sony and Nintendo are just doing what they need to do. And that's, uh, hey, good to see them thrive on the market. Uh, Microsoft... There's no numbers, so I can't really speak on Microsoft. They do claim that the X is doing better than the S and uh, whatnot, so okay. But even when you say these particular numbers for the X, you're still not giving me the overall percentage. You're not giving me what truly matters. And I don't mean to come off as a such and such, but that really is the truth, people. That is the truth. We don't really have anything to go off on with the Microsoft account. And... It's going to just seem like speculation at this point. And it really is going to seem like speculation because it most definitely will end up being speculation. Nobody wants to talk about um, where their standing is. You know what I'm saying? Microsoft really just wants to sit here and sell you uh, services. So if they want to sell you services, I guess it's just a route we're just going to have to accept from Microsoft here in uh, 2018. So, hey, so be it. But I appreciate every, all of you guys, you know, those who are watching it, you know, this late, you know, everything of that nature. My notification squad, I appreciate y'all. Uh, definitely hit this video up with a like. I do appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you are a new viewer. And definitely, I will see you guys uh, later here on this channel. I appreciate everybody again. Y'all have a good one. Ryan the Professional is out. Deuces.